page. The three amigos are back in this bitch. That's why we're back in this bitch. I don't break the table. It's That's already right. wobbly as it it's is. It's already wobbly as it is. <laughs> but nonetheless. We're back with this edition of Five Questions. That's when we answer your guys' questions that you guys send in. Send in questions that we're not putting out fast enough for you guys, apparently. And, uh, but nonetheless, we're going to try. Yep. We're going to try the best we can here. We need another tape. <laughs> we don't bring nothing to the table when he's the table. Uh, Pops, how do they ask a question for a next uh, installment of Five Questions? All right. I know, I know this is hard for you, but, but, but those of you that can't understand what I'm saying. But anyway, don't send it on Facebook, Instagram, uh, what's that other shit? Uh, Twitter. Twitter, Twitter. Uh, you can all, what are you looking at? <laughs> the only way to send your comment is, is to put it in the comment section down below. It ain't, it ain't gonna get, it ain't gonna get, get seen if you don't put it there. And, uh, <laughs> you pay attention over here. That's stretch. We're gonna answer you guys. Oh, you scratch your bum over there? No, just stretch. Well, with the white pencil. <laughs> I don't care. It's hot. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and answer these questions. All right, I'm ready. You ready? Yep. You yeah. ready? Yep. Uh, first, uh, the first four questions are asked by the same person. <laughs> okay. Matt Jenkins. Matt Jenkins. Now I should mention that. Uh, uh, there are a few in this in this uh, in this five questions that is actually um, gaming related. Yes. So uh, now some are wrestling, but we'll get into it. Uh, Matt Jenkins's first question is thoughts on Lash Legend in NXT. Matt finds her very hot. Okay. Now I'll be honest with you. We're not. Uh, we don't watch NXT 2.0. Or Saved by the Bell. Uh, Saved by the Bell. The college years. Yeah. Uh, so, I don't know exactly who she is, but I have seen her a little bit. I don't see anything there. Is that all? Yeah. Want me to move on? Go ahead. Alright, Lash Legend. What makes her a legend? Because I don't see it. Lash. <laughs> LaRue. <laughs> give me Lash LaRue. Yeah, give me Lash LaRue. Woo! Yeah, the, the raging cage. Yeah, he gets over. Yeah, and and, and, and that's what it is. NXT 2.0, Saved by the Bell, the college years, living on the edge of tomorrow. Today, yep. <laughs> Tie dye. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be honest. I don't see anything in Lash Legend. Don't see that she's hot. Don't see anything. Don't see the appeal. Uh, she look kind of um, manly, a little bit in the face. Me, but that's just me. Hey, to each his own, Matt. But uh, <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I don't see anything in her. Yeah. And she ain't hot in my ass. Uh, Pops, Lash Legend in NXT. Uh, well, I, 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 I've, I've seen her, you know, but not, not all real close, you know. I, I, I've seen pictures of her and shit. Uh, you know, uh. Eat your own, man. Uh, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't find her that attractive. Um, and uh, I, I've seen that she had like her own interview segment. Uh -huh. So we're just gonna bring motherfuckers in, and they're gonna have their own inter, uh, you know, th th their own interview segments now. I guess so. Okay, uh, okay. My, my, my question is, who, do, who, who, who did she beat? I mean, who did she beat to, to, e e e to even win that kind of respect? Nobody that I'm aware of. Okay, then you know, to, to, me, to me, as a wrestling, as a wrestling fan, and, and uh, I, I would, I would have to say this: you got to beat somebody to impress me. To at least have some kind yeah. of inter interview. Yeah. Segment. yeah, you have, you know, you, or 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 at least be a great on the mic, and I didn't yeah. see that either. Yeah, yeah me neither. So uh, we'll pass the legend that is Lash. Yeah, uh, let's go ahead and go with the next one. Uh, which is, what is your favorite Super Mario game for any system? He says, Matt Jenkins, who thought uh, Last Legend was hot. hot. Yeah. Uh, now, I will say this. Good pick here. I but, like you, Matt. Uh, but his pick was uh, Super Mario 3 on the NES. That's me, a good one. That's a good one. Me, I'm going to go with uh, Mario Kart 64. 
Mario Kart 64. On the Nintendo 64. On the Nintendo 64. Okay. Pops, what's your favorite Super Mario game? Original Mario. <laughs> Original Mario. Do you like any of the other ones? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, we know. Yeah, don't like mine. <laughs> we play with Kate and he goes, he goes Kate, you know damn good well I don't like these kind of games. That's right. <laughs> I'll just quit right now. <laughs> quit before I start. Yeah, yes, he does. Hey, yeah, we know that. Uh, but uh, um, I'm actually going to go with um, IE, one of my favorite systems of all time, which is the Nintendo 64. But I'm going with Super Mario 64. That's actually one of my favorite games of all time. Uh, love it. Played it when I was a kid. Enjoyed it. Have it to this day. And uh, it's right in that room. And haven't played in a while, but <laughs> been busy. Yeah. But uh, uh, also, you can play it on the Switch too now. Uh, they got that. Uh, they got. They got that Mario where you, uh, where you can play 64, Sunshine, and uh, Galaxy. Yeah. You can play that on the Switch. Cool. So If you want to play an updated version of it, you can play it on the Switch. Um, let's go with the next question. Uh, do you like WCW versus the World for the PS1? Matt Jenkins. Says it's an underrated game. Well, Matt Jenkins is wrong again. <laughs> we love you, Matt. <laughs> we like you, Matt. We do. Yeah. But he's wrong here, too. Okay, why, why is that? Because WCW, NWO, the world. Yeah, versus the world. Versus, oh, it's WCW versus yeah, the world? Yeah, WCW versus uh, the world. I got the game, and I showed you how much I don't give a fuck about it. Yeah. Uh, I have it. I yeah. have I, I, I have it in the game closet. I think that game sucks. It reminds me of Fire Pro Wrestling. Yeah. Just WCW for me. And that's why I don't like it. So you don't like it? Nope. Game's overrated. Very ugly looking game. Yeah, very ugly looking and very overrated. Now, I will say this. You know, listen. I know, the N64 didn't have the best graphics. Neither did the PS1. But, I don't know, man. It's just... It just looks really, like, clunky and ugly. Yeah. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I just don't really like you it. You know, fucking the N64, you have people like, well, it didn't look good and stuff like that. But that's the thing. It still played good. Yeah. So, well, that, that's really way better, in my opinion. Where, where, you know, besides, let's just be honest, besides the SmackDown series, a lot of the other PS1 wrestling games kind of sucked. Yeah, kind of fucking sucked. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, WCW, like they had... That one, WCW vs. The World, which wasn't that good in my opinion. WCW Nitro, which sucked. Thunder. WCW Thunder, which sucked. Backstage Assault. Backstage Assault, which sucked. Mayhem? Woo! If I had to choose out of PlayStation on WCW-wise, the only game that was worth, that was remotely okay, decent to play was Mayhem. Which which looked kind of weird with the <laughs> with the way the characters. Yeah, the way the way they did this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it looked kind of weird. But but that's the only game that was kind of playable. Kinda, yeah. That's about it. Pops, WCW versus the World for the PS One. Uh, I didn't like it. Yeah, like uh, it, 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 it it looked well, rocky. Rocky. Yeah, like like they like like look like rocks. <laughs> they look like rocks. They did actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they they yeah. look like rocks. Man, they, they, they just, I mean, I mean you know, I, I, damn, you could have made it a little bit more, you know, better look, graphics, yeah, yeah. made it maybe look a little like, you know, kind of, like people. <laughs> yeah, they, they look like snowmen, kind of. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, I mean, besides, like, having the roundness, yeah. but, like, the roundness of the head, the roundness of, like, their... Their arms and and, and everything look yeah, like it would just look like a fucking dummy bag or whatever. Yeah, you know? it would be just ugly look. Uh, yeah, not really one of my favorite WCW games. Uh, didn't really have a good a good uh, set with that one. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna say uh, not underrated. I think it's a little overrated for a lot of people. Yeah. And I do agree, Tommy. It kind of it kind of did kind of uh, remind me of like. The, the, yeah, the Fire Pro Wrestling. The, the Fire Pro Wrestling, which I'm not a fan of that one either. I'm not a big fan of that either. Uh, so, I mean, well, I have them, of course, because I am, I, am, I am a wrestling collector. Yeah, I, I got uh, all the, I got Fire Pro Wrestling in the uh, PS4 one, and let me tell you, that game sucks. Yeah. And, and I don't even play it. <laughs> I, I tried it before, didn't like it. Didn't like it. Only reason I keep it, wrestling related. 
Yep. So you, you, you see, even, even the games we don't like, we try out. Anyway. No doubt. Uh, let's go ahead and go with... That's right, Pop. Let's go ahead and go with the... Well, the table moves again. <laughs> let's go ahead and go with the next question from the table Matt... table got his own leg that moves. Yeah, Matt Jenkins. Uh, his last question, which is, do you like the Super Nintendo or the Nintendo 64 better? Well, I'm going to go, I like the Nintendo 64 better. Why is that, though, exactly? Better games. Most people hate the controller that I've I, noticed. Well, why? I thought it was okay. Uh, what, the controller for the N64? It's easy to play. Mm -hmm. And then all it is, A, B, yellow, goddamn fucking the two analogs, Z, fucking the D, D pad and the joystick. What's so hard? Some people just don't like the way, like, they don't know how to hold it. Oh. Well, I will say this, certain games do have, like, a, a, cer a certain way you want to hold it. Well, yeah, but... Uh, I just think they had. I, I, know, they I, had I, I hold it normally myself. I don't know how anybody else holds it. Look, anyway. They had good games. The wrestling games were really good. Every fucking wrestling game, except for the ones that were on PS1, they brought on to the N64, like Nitro. The exclusive yeah, N64 game. The exclusive, game. like WCW versus NWO World Tour, WCW versus NWO Revenge, WWF WrestleMania 2000. WWF WrestleMania, WWF No Mercy. Those were good games. Even uh, even a non-wrestling fan could play those games. Which uh, is absolute proof because one of my best friends, Austin, he actually came over. Uh, well, it's, it's been a while, though, because uh, of the whole uh, COVID situation. But uh, last time that he was over, we did play in 64. Yeah. We did play No Mercy, and he had fun playing it. Yeah. And my friend Austin's not a wrestling fan. So, yeah. uh, that shows you right there that, you know, uh, people that are not wrestling fans can actually play and, these games. Yes. And they had, and they, to me, they had a better game selections than what Super Nintendo had. Yeah. Uh, Super Nintendo had, like, uh, Super WrestleMania, Raw, yeah. Royal Rumble, um, which are great games. They Didn't are they have great WrestleMania games. the arcade game, too? Yes. <laughs> Uh, which are great games in their own right, it's just not as good as the Nintendo 64. Yeah. Pops. Uh, Nintendo 64. Hands down. Why, exactly. Because, you know, the, 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 game, the games are, are easier to play. And most people don't understand that. I mean, it's easy to play. Mm -hmm. and, 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 you know, hell, even Caden can play it. And and uh, hell, I, I think and, and hell, uh, you got you guys uh, broke in playing Nintendo 64 before you played any other game, any other game systems. Mm -hmm. And 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 it was a it was a big 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 hit. Hell, everybody come over to play that game. Uh, I'm also going to go with N64 is better. I know people love the Super Nintendo, but. It, 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 it also comes to another another thing for us is we didn't really grow up with the Super Nintendo. Yeah. We grew up with the Genesis. Yeah. Um, our cousin had the Super Nintendo, and, uh, you know, we played it sometimes over there, but... Uh, we liked the Sega Genesis better. Yeah, yeah. We, we actually grew up with the Sega Genesis over... And we actually liked the Genesis better. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, uh, so, I mean, you know, it is what it is, and once we got the N64, fantastic. Like I said, not only the wrestling games are, are great on there, but you have Super Mario 64, Donkey Kong 64, you have the Mario Kart. You have the Pokemon Stadium. Pokemon Stadium. You have, you have a lot of really good games on the N64. Yeah. Uh, the Banjo-Tooie and Banjo-Kazooie yep. games, they're really good guys. Great wrestling games, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, let's go ahead and go with the last question for this edition of Five Questions. Question for this edition of Five Questions asked by T. N. Couponer, the King of Deals, the Deal Maker. The Deal Maker. Go check out <coughs> T. N. Couponer's channel. The link for his channel will be in the description box below. Uh, you'll see his name, T. N. Couponer. You hit the link, goes directly to his channel. Hit that subscribe button. He's close to three thousand subs. Get him to three thousand subs. Yeah. And also get us to three thousand subs. Yeah. <laughs> We're close as hell as well. We're really yeah. close. Come on. Yeah. Um, 
because we do have a big we got a giveaway. really big giveaway coming. <laughs> yes. Once we hit 3,000, we That's have a huge we'll giveaway. That's when we'll do it. Yes. <clears throat> His question is, thoughts on Triple H being named head of creative? Thoughts on Triple H being named the head of creative? <clears throat> yeah. Good. Good. Yeah. I'm sorry, he's better than fucking Johnny Ace. Bruce Pritchard. Bruce Pritchard. I'm sorry. John Laurinaitis was the worst fucking talent relations person I've ever seen in my fucking life. Mm -hmm. He signed <laughs> swimsuit models. He signed the one long, long one legged guy. He signed fucking people that didn't deserve to be signed. And Bruce Pritchard, all he is is a Vince McMahon ass smeller. He is, yeah. With a red face. <coughs> with a red face, yeah. And it's true. I'm being honest. That's what he is. And Triple H. Triple H knows. I'm going to be honest. Triple H knows more about what wrestling is now than what Bruce Pritchard or Johnny Ace knows. Because they grew up in. It, well, they, well, didn't grow up. But they. But they. Uh, when they were in that role, it was 20, 25 years ago. Yeah. I don't like that anymore. Um, and, and, and let's just be honest. When Triple H was one, was running NXT. He ran it great. He actually did. He did a great job with NXT. Signing people that that were great. You know, come on. Tommaso Ciampa. Johnny Gargano. Adam Cole when he was good. Uh, Bobby Fish when he was good. Uh, Kyle O'Reilly when he was good. Throwing it out there, because look at him now. Keith Lee, when he was good. Bobby Roode. Bobby Roode, who is Robert Roode now, <laughs> still good. Yeah. Just don't get uh, don't get the credit he deserves. Or Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe, yep. You know, Finn Balor. No, he, Ricochet, he said a lot of... Kevin Owens, Sami Zayn. He said a lot of great talent. Shinsuke Nakamura. You know, he said a lot of great fucking talent. And when they showed up to the main roster, they were treated like shit. And even the women, too. Even the women. Look at the women he signed. Fucking the uh, Iconics. Billy Kay and Peyton Royce, which were a really great team. Amber Moon. Fucking uh, Sasha Banks. Charlotte Flair. Becky Lynch. Bailey. Bailey. Bianca Belair. Fucking Candice LeRae. Fucking he signed... Fucking every fuck Nikki Cross, fucking Nia Jax. He signed a lot of good fucking talent, and fucking and even the women got treated like shit. Some of them. Some of them. Some of them got through it, like Charlotte Flair and Becky Lynch, and Sasha Banks. But until she cried. And until she home. cried and went home. But yeah. Well, I can't say I blame her. Yeah, the way they were getting treated. Come on, women's tag team titles. Give me a break. Fucking, it's true though. Yeah. And uh, and Triple H knows more. Look, look, he's bringing back people that that Vince got rid of. Yeah. That uh, that they had a big uh, release sale. Yeah. He he brought back Karrion Cross, even though I th I think he's a right wing fucking red nut. fucking nut. But he, he brought him back because I, I ain't, whatever he does politically, that's his fucking business. But I don't really care. But in the ring, he's all right. I did like him before I found out that he was a fucking Yeah, nut. until he found out he was a nut. Yeah. And uh, and he brought back... Uh, Most right-wingers are. Yeah. And brought back Hit Row. He brought them back. I don't see anything there, well, personally. Well, me neither, but, <sighs> but they... I'm just gonna be. I don't, I don't see anything. See anything there. There I don't. I don't either. And I don't care if fucking Swerve was with them or not. I still didn't see. I, I didn't either. But but he brought them back. Uh, who else did he bring back? He brought back Scarlet. He, he's bringing back a lot of. Uh, oh, ba Dexter Loomis. Uh, Bailey. Bailey. He brought Dakota Kai back. He brought Io Shirai in. Eo Sky. Well, it's Eo Shirai. Yeah. Come on, that's what she was. Well, her, her, her name's Sky now. Well, all right, Sky, but I'm gonna <laughs> call her Shirai because that's what she was, and I don't give a fuck. Now I will say this: Bailey was injured. Yeah, but... so give her a pass. She yeah. was injured, but thank goodness she's back, and I'm glad she's back because I like Bailey. Yeah. And and she was on a roll until she got that injury. 
So I mean, you know, she and there and, and there's been, rumor they're bringing. Uh, I heard they're doing this vignette, and it looks like Bray Wyatt might be coming back. I, I did hear about Bray Wyatt possibly coming back, yeah. Which is good. And I will say this. I'm pretty sure that there's some rumblings over there in AEW. And uh, I heard there are! Yeah. I heard a lot of people are, are pissed off that they had to sign a Renew contract here. Yeah. And they're wishing they didn't. Uh, yeah, uh, some people in particular, uh, Adam Cole. Yep, he's one of them. And let's just be honest. Uh, Can't blame me. Uh, you know, when he was in NXT, he was he, one he of was the top a, guys. He was one of the top guys. And, 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 and I can't blame him for being upset. Yeah, what the fuck is he now? Kissing me on the cheeks? Yeah, nah, and I bet you he's like, I wish I, I, wish I would have waited. Yeah. And, and stayed like some of these people like Karrion Cross did. And fucking, uh, I shouldn't have signed up so early. Yeah, though. hit row. I bet you. I bet you. He wishes he was one of them people. Yeah. And, and, and Dakota Kai. Also, and, also uh, maybe uh, William Regal. Yeah, William Regal probably feel the same way. You know, these people are probably a pissed off. There's probably a lot of talent in there that wishing they did not s sign an extended contract with that company. Now that they know Triple H is uh is uh on the uh. Talent Freedom, relations, yeah. and to be honest, I'm sorry if I had a choice. If if Tony Khan goes, hey, if you're not happy here, you can leave. I'll be glad to. You do a Raven. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you've done a Bischoff, okay, brought all the talent in. Well, if you're not happy here, you can leave. Yeah, that's what happened in WCW. <laughs> well, I do a Raven. Yeah. I walk off. <laughs> Raven was the only one walked yeah. out. He goes, "Fuck this place." I, I would. And, 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 and then he went back to ECW. And, yeah. If, to if, if Tony Khan done that. If we brought all the talent in here. Yeah, uh, I heard a lot of people here says they're not happy here. Well, if you're not happy here and you think the grass is greener, you can leave. Well, I'd, I'd stand right up and walk out the fucking door. Well, from what I've heard, he's been on a warpath. Yeah, I heard he's been acting like a fucking dweeb like he always is. Say, so, uh, yelling Fuck through fucking, yelling at people. Fucking yelling people at fucking, on headsets. Well, what gives you the right, motherfucker, well, to do anything? You don't know shit about wrestling. You're a fucking 1 to 15 Jaguar Jamoke. That's what you are, and that's what you've been, well, and that's what you're always going to be. Well, well, a well, fucking loser, because you look like be, one. It, it could be that, that that the ones that's over there does have talent. Or say, see, you're not like Triple H. Sees what, sees what Shaker Khan really is. Yeah. They're probably you're realizing how stupid this He's guy is. He's a mark is. for his own self. They're probably, and see, some of them probably are saying, wish I didn't sign that extended contract. I wish I, I didn't get that hug. Yeah, I wish I didn't get that hug. You got that resi all over me. You got that 1 of 15 stank. <laughs> stank. On me. It smells like Jaguar piss. <laughs> That's his cologne. Huh? Jaguar. Yeah, that Jaguar piss. And, 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 and fucking, they're like, I wish that I, he don't act like fucking Triple H. Because he never was. And it was never. I'm sorry. People can shit on Triple H all they want to. We have before and, and in the past. And yeah. I felt bad for it because look at the guy. He actually knows a lot more. I'm sorry. Triple H knows more about the wrestling business than Tony Khan wishes he could. As a talent, as a backstage. Yep, he uh, knows uh, everything about. Well, he uh, knows. If, if, if you compare Sh Sh uh, Shaka Khan to Triple H. You, you, you know, no one, no, you know, yeah, he does, but I, th I, I think fucking uh, uh, anybody w w w would would know more talent if they've been Come in on. the business for 20, 30, 30 years more than Shark Gun could ever know. Five years more than fucking Shark The reason Shark could I had to say Triple H knows way more than what he, what Tony Khan knows. Triple H wasn't a performer. Yep. He know he knows how to handle talent. Because he was a he was a performer, he knows how to fucking handle promos. He knows how to handle backstage stuff. He knows how to he knows all that. He also knows how to assemble a team. And he knows how yeah, and he knows how to assemble a team. Like he knows how to handle talent. Why do you think uh, uh, William Regal was a big part of NXT in the beginning? Yeah, because Triple H until until he was released. Yeah, from the company. and of course when Triple H was fucking downgraded. And look what they've done to his fucking NXT. Mm. They took that NXT 
and made it OVW 2008. Oh, Lord. It's true. They did. We, we need some kids. <laughs> Barbecue. <laughs> Is it true though? I'm, I'm, Ain't that the way they I'm, make I'm, this thing XT? I'm gonna go to far far to say this. Dolph Ziggler knows more about talent than Chaka Khan will know. And fucking, I'm sorry. I bet you a lot of people wishing, uh, wishing they never signed that fucking extension or, or never even took TK's call. I did hear something about Triple H did did tell certain talents, mm -hmm. hey, when you're done, come over. Hey, uh, well, no, no, like he told people, like, uh, I think it was like, um, you know, like, uh, Hit Row and, and, uh -huh. and uh, uh, Carrie yeah. Cross, hey, don't sign any contracts because you may be back soon. Yeah. And, and probably he said the same thing to the other people. But they went ahead, probably because Tony Khan's like, well, they're paying me all this money. Well, look what happened. Which one would you rather have? Look like a goof and get paid for it? Or, get, or act like a professional? You get paid for it. Yeah. Uh, show what you're really talented. Uh, really talents are. You see, that's the thing. Triple H will show people their real talent, and Tony Khan just fucking takes them down. He just signs them to sign and to hug them yeah. and to hug them and where they smell like Jaguar piss afterwards. But guys, but, but I, I'm, I'm going to tell you what though. I'm, I, I'm going to I'm going to close this right here. Yeah, uh, Triple H may be in charge. I mean, may be in charge of creative. But I still say Vincent Mann is going to look over his shoulder. I'm pretty sure of it. Yeah. But nonetheless, we hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to share it all over social media. Like us on Facebook, facebook.com slash wrestling rampage 2. You can also follow <laughs> follow us on uh, Twitter at wrestle rampage. You can also follow me and Tommy on IG Instagram. The I'm phenomenal one does not have an Instagram. But no. I have enough trouble with Facebook for the idiots that I, that, that, that I have to, you know, talk to or something. Block. Block. Well, you know, you know. It, it, it's, it's, you know. That's what I do. But I anyway. Block, I block 50 million people. <laughs> also, make sure you guys like us. Uh, well, sorry. Make sure you guys also. Uh, I would have said uh, the 45 people. Hit, hit that subscribe button because, guys, we were so close to 3,000 subs. Can you guys taste the 3,000 3, yes. subs? We're so close. Uh, you know, We're yeah, here's, here's the thing. I'm going to say this if right now. Hey, no, here, here, I'm going to do it right here. Play that up front. If you want a fucking giveaway, we need to hit 3,000. If not, you ain't getting shit. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you this. You know, there you go. Simple this, as that. This, this, this is going to be a big giveaway. Oh, huge. This is going to be probably the be biggest good, giveaway uh, we ever this done. Is, uh, and, and, and you can ask. You can ask. We deliver what we say. Oh, yeah. It's going to be big. This is the biggest giveaway we ever Get done. Get us there. Get us there. And you will probably win the beat. Yes, you possibly will. Hit that subscribe button for more great videos coming to you guys because we're that cream that rises to the top. Cream of the crop. And nobody does it better.